In this video, I'm going to go over the test practice problems on page 75 in your workbook in preparation for your chapter one test. If you're doing this online, you have extra features in the math book. Number one, Jeremy is making a healthy ice cream using only ripe bananas and peanut butter. The recipe makes four servings and calls for a ratio of five bananas to three tablespoons of peanut butter. If Jeremy has 30 bananas, how much peanut butter is he going to need? Let's set up our equal ratios. Five bananas, three, I'm just gonna put TSP, oh wait, it's tablespoon, so. Oops, tablespoon. He has 30 bananas, I'll put my 30 here. How do we go from five to 30 times six? So we need to do three times six. So 18 tablespoons are what it neater this time of peanut butter. Number two, students at Lincoln Middle School earn $5 for every four boxes of cookie dough. So $5, four boxes. Students at William Middle School earn $7 for every six rolls of wrapping paper sold. Which fundraiser do students earn a greater amount? For this one, we're gonna have to make a table and then compare the tables. I think that's the best strategy. Let's do Lincoln Middle School. So Lincoln Middle School. Make sure you make your rectangle big enough. You're gonna cut it in half and put our five to four in there. We need to count inside our boxes until we have an equal amount of product sold. Then we can compare the amount of money. This one is William Middle School. Draw my rectangle, cut it in half, and theirs is seven to six. Like I said, our product has to equal the same amount. So let's start counting. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. I'm gonna stop there because when I count by sixes, six, 12, 18, 24, that's when they're the same. Let's count by our top number. And then sevens down here, seven, 14, 21, 28. This might be a good one to highlight. We're comparing when they're the same. So who made more money? Lincoln Middle School made $30 after selling 24 cookie doughs. Compared to the other school made $28 for selling the same amount of product. So it says, which one was greater? We're gonna write cookie dough. Number three. A recipe of punch calls for 12 fluid ounces of orange juice Raina wants to make four batches of the punch for our party. How many quarts of orange juice is she going to need? For this one, I like drawing out our picture of quarts. In one quart, we have two pints. Each pint has two cups, and each cup has eight ounces. That's gonna help me solve. I know there are 12 ounces of orange juice and we're gonna times it by four for four batches. So she's gonna have a total of 48 ounces of orange juice. 
I know that there are 32 ounces in one quart. I can look at that right here, 8, 16, 24, 32 ounces in one quart. Well, we have 48 ounces. If we want to know how many quarts is that. I can either multiply to figure this out, divide to figure this out. What I'm going to do is just add on to my picture. I'm going to draw another quart, put my pints inside, my cups, and my ounces. And you can count until you get to 48. So we know this is 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So that is one whole quart and then half of this one. So this is one and a half quarts. Number four. Place an X in the column to indicate whether or not ratio A is equal to ratio B. I'm going to go backwards. 4 times 2 is 8. If 5 times 2 is 10, this is equal. So yes. Maybe I'll show it off to the side. We have 4 over 5. We're saying is that equal to 8 out of 10? Yes, by times two. Let's do it over here. Three tenths, does that equal 15 out of 40? Well, I know 10 times four is 40. Four times three is not 15, so this is a no. One to two, does that equal three to six? One times three is six, and 1 times 3 is 3. So yes, that one works. Multi-select sheet. Which of the following rates are unit rates? Unit rates are per one of something. If I drive 60 miles per hour, how many hours have I driven? This per hour means 1. So that is a unit rate two degrees every half of an hour. Is that per one of something? No. 3.2 inches in two days, is that per one of something? No. Three questions for each lesson. Each lesson means one lesson, so yes. There are 24 students for every two teachers. We would wanna know for one teacher, so for this reason, no. Number six. The table shows the number of canned goods collected by three different homerooms. Are the ratio of canned goods per student equal between any or all of the classes? Explain yourself. Well, the only way to figure this out is to set this up as a fraction. Let's do 25 over 150. If I put this in smallest form, I need to figure out how many cans each student brought in. So I need to divide by the number of students. So I'm going to divide by 25. This gets me one student, and that's what I'm comparing. If I do 150 divided by 25, one student brings in six cans. And that was for Mr. A's class. The next one, 28 over 154. I'm dividing by 28, so I get one student. 154 divided by 28 is 5.5 cans. That is Mr. Jensen, Mr. J. The last one, if I do 27, over 162, I divide by 27, the number of students. So I get one student. 162 divided by 27 is six cans. Mrs. S. 
So are any or all of the classes equivalent? Mr. A and Mrs. S are equal. Alvarez and Sanders are equal. I'm going to stop the video and I'll make a separate one for a few of the problems on the back.